Hello, hello, G1. Good new video. So today we're viewing Rusty's Racing Center at Wonder McQueen. So let's take a look at this car straight packaging. So this is just Racing Center like cleaning an Australian sticker only a target that covers up the only a target US thing. The decal that was actually on the name tag, but this is a sticker on the blister. Anyways, free plus metal and gold stripe here instead of a black one. Cars free, just picks up cars free. No, just picks up cars free. Gold around here. This is, you'll just get a shortcut, for example. Some people look like that. Well, the cars on the back are almost the same, that's funny. Anyways. Yeah, so just pause and read that if you want to. Ones I buy a new generation of Crystal Cup races, like McQueen, blah 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 blah, nobody cares. So, the back car showing a cast free Light McQueen, Natalie Sin, Smokey, Jackson Storm, Cow Rogers, and Brick Yardley. So, now we're going to take a look at 2018 slash 19 packaging. Rusty's Racing Center at Light McQueen, with some translations, no sticker, because it's not quite targeted anymore. I found this at my local supermarket store back in my local local supermarket store. Store back in August last year, which yeah, it's a supermarket. And actually, I find this in the back in Australia, Kmart, and Curl Supermarkets as well. So, not so much of an inclusive, but it had the US and Target sticker covered up with a white sticker instead. But still, it is artwork, looks pretty good. Blue desert background, unlike, for example, Antonio Veloso Excelente, he has the fit book here, he has the unblurred desert background. Next, this racing center. I'll get the stuff for the translation for that. 95. Your yeah, Rusty's racing center features a latest in racer training technology. Got a photo of Sterling and then and Rusty and Dusty Rusty's, and it just shows lightning and 95 Disney Pixar cars. Let's take a look at lightning. So it's a very beautiful metallic red. It was sort of goldish sort of light, but it was rusty's. Slight different colour than the gold, but it, it's sort of another gold, but it still blends in. Got a metallic 95. It goes into here, which I haven't just noticed now. That's really cool. Got rusty's. Um, and then it goes headlights to turn it green. Which doesn't really matter here, but it's all. Which was good, sorry. Any of the other Cars 3 diecast? Oh well, apart from the other variations and variants of racing center McQueen, but you get the idea. This is a just line ball there, nice simple design. Rims of a, meta uh, of a metallic red, got a side exhaust, got a back hall, windows, windows, back windows with a metallic red window bars, which is a really cool touch. And right here, Rusty's, but it's covered up by the headlights and blue bit for these are to keep the spoiler on. Yeah, headlights, and 95. And 95 with his name on the roof, metallic. Bold. I feel like I said a bad number, but just in case. I have no idea what these production codes mean, but this one says 1047 EAA. I presume it's just a 1047th one made. But if you know anything about child production codes, please let me know. Then the comments below, I'm actually really curious to find out. And there's a little bit of Thailand variance, but it's just really the normal Thailand change. So, like, an island plate, this stuff's a lot blurrier. L46 average mean, means it was made in the 46th week of 2018 in the A factory as pilot. And here, so it doesn't look very well in a way. Now, let's go right there. Let's go back to the Sandy Rusty's Racing Center. Well, I'm going to compare with a few metallic white queens for just because why not? Yeah, 
hard to do this, but I will. Um, until it cuts free Lion McQueen. Metallic Fuck from the Thomasville Racing Legend series. Piston car one of the queen. So man. Sandy just in one of the queen almost fell off the edge. Anyway, it's Second last cruise on Lion McQueen. One more, more comparison after this, and the video will be finishing. And last but not least, Radiohead Springs Lion McQueen. I apologize, it was very cheap, but I thought that I was very young and never got a replacement for it. I was going about 10 years ago. Anyways. So let's have a look at the only radiator spots between my pocket. I don't even have any on card. Rip. Anyways. So the comparison's are bad, I'm trying to stop the rest of this resting sound and lighting from falling away. It's an absolute pain in the butt. Yes, anyways, bring Carl over to my back. Anyways, that's it for the video, so thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, favorite, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the Chase Race Lot Diecast Review.